This presentation demonstrates the steps necessary to prepare underground primary cable for termination. Using the Speed Systems 1542 2CL insulation stripper, 1700 SS Semicon scorer, and the LPW 1525 TK120XN probe tool with neutral winder. Measure and mark the strip back length of the outer jacket. Follow the instructions provided by the termination supplier to determine the proper strip back length. You will use the 1700 SS to make a square cut in the outer jacket at the mark. Make sure the blade is in the square cut position. Open the jaws by turning the knob counterclockwise until the tool can be positioned on the cable. Next, set the blade depth so the blade does not touch any of the neutrals. Place the tool onto the cable at your mark and turn the knob clockwise until the springs take over and the knob turns freely. Make several revolutions with the scorer. Loosen the jaws and remove the tool from the cable. Make a small cut on each side of one of the neutral wires at the end of the cable. Use your pliers to pull the neutral wire back approximately one and one half inch. Insert the neutral into the center hole in the neutral winder. Ratchet the tool down and around the cable until the tool reaches the square cut. This method protects the neutral wire and prevents breakage by maintaining an even pressure on the neutral as it is pulled through the outer jacket. Unwind and remove the neutral wire from the probe tool. Remove the outer jacket and pull the remaining neutrals out of the way of the installation. We recommend removing the insulation with the 1542 2CL next. This minimizes the chance of damaging or contaminating the insulation with the tool. The 1646X scale gauge accessory allows you to easily set the correct strip back length. Set the scale gauge to the length specified in the instructions. Clamp the tool firmly on the end of the cable. Set the blade depth so the blade misses the conductor by approximately 1 16th of an inch. Rotate the tool backwards around the cable before cutting the insulation to ensure that the blade will not hit the conductor at any point. Adjust the blade depth if necessary and recheck. Set the blade cutting angle to the width of spiral you desire. Approximately 1 quarter inch is ideal. As a general rule, Harder insulation materials require a smaller spiral than softer ones. Spiral the tool down the cable until the conductor hits the scale gauge. The tool automatically squares off the cut when using the scale gauge accessory. When not using the accessory, or when stripping a larger conductor size, you need to move the blade lever to the square cut position to square off the cut. Open the jaws to remove the tool and cut insulation from the cable. Once the insulation is removed, the next step is to remove the Semicon layer with the 1700 SS Semicon score. Measure and mark the Semicon strip back according to the manufacturer's instructions. Set the Semicon scorer blade depth to cut through most of the Semicon layer without cutting completely through to the insulation. Verify that the blade lever is in the square cut position and check the blade depth on a scrap piece of cable if one is available or by visually checking the blade at the end of the cable. The blade depth should be set to approximately three to five thousandths less than the Semicon thickness. Place the 1700 SS on the cable at the point you marked and release the tension on the jaws. Make sure the cable is as straight as possible. Rotate the tool counterclockwise around the cable to make the square cut. Without removing the tool from the cable, Move the blade lever to the spiral position and rotate the tool until it reaches the end of the semicon. 
Watch the blade come through the end of the semicon and stop rotating the tool once the blade is fully through the semicon, but before the tool slides off the cable and the blade drops onto the conductor. Open the jaws and remove the 1700SS from the cable. Use a knife, such as the Speed Systems SC11 Edge Wedge, to lift the end of the semicon so you can grab it with pliers, such as the Speed Systems SC13. Use the pliers to roll the semicon from the insulation until you reach the square cut. Use gentle pressure toward the square cut and keep the distance between the pliers and the cable to a minimum to prevent tearing of the semicon. You may see a spiral pattern on the insulation. Rub your thumbnail along the insulation to ensure that it is just a shadow left by the impression of the blade and not a cut into the insulation. It is helpful to chamfer the insulation to ease installation of molded rubber products. See the Speed Systems Chamfering Tool video for a demonstration. That concludes the steps for preparing an underground primary cable for termination.